Okay, everybody. Here's a tank. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do a demo for you guys, so you can see how to draw a tank. Uh, I did a little bit in class, and uh, remember we were talking about how to make something look round, right? Uh, so what I showed you was different ways to use like your marks to make it look like it's a piece of metal or hair or tree or something like that. So I'm going to do a couple demos for you guys so you can get a better idea and maybe you can even follow along. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. Yes, it would. What kind of a stupid question is that? Of course it'd be fun. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of things on this drawing of a tank uh, to help you guys um, get better. So here we go. I need my ebony, trusty ebony pencil. See, Eb ebony, ebony. I need my trusty Office Depot eraser right there. See, it says Office Depot. I also have Office Max. I, I haven't dis decided which one's better yet. But uh, that's all you need. Make sure it's nice and sharp too. You can see a nice sharp pencil point. Uh, and uh, that's all you need. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this uh, tank barrel here. And uh, I don't know if I, got sh if I showed you guys uh, this technique, but one of the things you can do to make it look like it's metal is you just take a black line like this and you put it approximately in the middle of the circle. Because remember, this is a circular circular thing. I always do this. You see me do this. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to show that it's very circular. Okay. So here here we go. And you do it all the way down the barrel. All right? Now, this is just a technique, you know. I always tell you guys to draw from observation and you know, that's the most important thing, but this is just a little technique to, to kind of create a cool effect and it'll make it look like it's, you know, metal, as I said. All right, now, now I've told you guys about direction of line mark, and if I was going to color this in, instead of just going straight like this, I instead I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to trace the barrel with my line work. So I'm going to go like this, just like this. You see how I'm doing that, everybody? And you just kind of work your way down. You know, this isn't super fast. You know, I'm going a little faster than I may normally, but that's just so I can fit everything in. Okay, so that's like one part. And uh, what you want to make sure you do is you don't want the value to be the same all the way down. So what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to keep, you know, this black band here. You're going to try to gradually make it lighter as you go out. So now I'm going to do a little smaller and I'm just going to try to stay pretty close to that black. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it look like it's round. So it's not going to be the same value all the way around. The light is wrapping around the barrel, so it's going to be a different value all the way around. You see how that's already working? See how that kind of makes it look like a really round shape? And uh, go back to doing the whole thing again. I'm keeping my, my marks circular. Now, not like this circular, but, you know, sort of like a like a quarter circle or something. All right. All right, so there you go, there's the barrel. Again, it, uh, I mean, you can get as detailed as you want with this thing, but you can already see, I can see it on my screen here. It's really, really pop, starting to pop out, right? So you guys see how that works? What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna darken this in. I'm going to leave a little bit of light there. 
Because the uh, one thing you gotta know about metal is that it reflects light, so you'll see a lot of light spots in it. Again, so now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna do another band, but I'm gonna stay closer. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge like I was doing before. I'm gonna stay closer to the middle black line there. Okay. I'm gonna go work my way down. And then I'm gonna take my pink eraser. That's right, pink eraser. And I think once per demo, I'm gonna give a shout out to somebody. So, hmm, Josiah, I'm gonna make you use this pink eraser next time, okay? So just be aware of that. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're kinda, we kinda did a pretty good job here. And so, one of the other techniques you can do is you can take your pink eraser and you can erase along the side. So again, what that does is that creates that reflection. Because uh, again, metal's gonna reflect light. So let's see, see how that works. And uh, you can do it on both sides if you want to. I'm just gonna do it on the top side because I'm thinking that the sun is coming from the top. So that's where the lightest part's gonna be. So, the top of the barrel is going to give my little highlight. All right. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty much the best barrel I've ever drawn. And I uh, hope you guys agree. And I hope you guys can maybe try that out. Now, the rest of the tank. What you have to understand is you got to understand the material you're working with. Again, this is metal. But unlike, it's not, but it's, but it's not like a metal like you know, you would see a really shiny metal, like if it were a brand new car. You know, you would look at the, the fender and it's like, got all those light reflections and things like that you can see really well. This is more like rugged. And what I mean by that is, usually it's covered by a lot of dirt and a lot of, you know, often they're camouflaged and things like that too. But it's still metal. And so you don't want to, you know, remember I was showing you guys how to draw hair. You don't want to draw your marks like this to create a hairy texture unless you're making a hairy tank, which I don't know, I, I guess you could, but not really realistic. So uh, yeah, instead, oh, a little spit there. Uh, so instead, we're gonna, do, we're gonna do marks with straight lines. And again, that's because it's, we're working with metal here. So as I go in, I'm just gonna, keep my lines nice and straight. Again, that's gonna keep the metal look, because actually metal, if you look at it, has a grain to it. It actually has like a, like a texture or a direction that everything goes into. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get that effect here. And again, because I'm using my ebony pencil, I can get a, a, a broad range of values. So I can start, you know, I can get this gray value here, but then I can get like a darker value, like let's say in here. Because, uh, What's going on is this part is closest to us, and this kind of goes back into space. So, this is going to be darker because of that, because it's going back in space. But it's not totally black. See, what I'm going to do is I'm starting, you know, dark, you know, in the corner here, but then I get lighter as it comes out. Okay, good. You guys can see that, right? And then, uh, let's, uh, do the same thing over here, because again, the same thing's going on. It's uh, going back into space, so you make that darker, because it just makes it look like it's popping back. And then you go lighter as it comes out, because the, the light's able to get those little areas. Now, here's kind of a little neat trick to do a light. You just kind of do a line down the middle, and then you kind of do like another line and another line down here. It kind of makes it look like it's that plastic material that goes over your lights. Again, I'm going to do the same thing here. All right. I can see I'm taking up a lot of time, so I'm going to move faster. get that dark because it's going back into space. 
So you can see, I see, I saw a lot of you guys last week, you know, just coloring it in. And you, as you can see, I'm really varying the the you know the, pen, the the quality of the lines that I'm doing. Some are light, some are dark, some are just like a combination. So experiment with that. You know, when you're coloring something in, it doesn't all have to be the same value as you can see here with that tank barrel. Now here's another trick too. When you are doing these pieces, what you can do to kind of again, it's like a trick to do, but it, you can make it look more metallic by coloring it in, but leaving a white mark all the way around. Little white spot. Don't color in the whole thing. Right? So like that. It's almost like you draw it out and then you color to that. And it's not like we're coloring because we don't have any colors. It's just gray, but uh, you're shading it in. And again, look, I'm, I'm not going to shade it all the same. I'm going to shade a little dark area and leave a little light there. And again, I'm going to leave that little light stripe there because, again, that makes it look like it's a reflection. As you can see in my drawing there. Okay, do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Yeah, see how that's working out. Now I'm going to do... Again, I'm going to work with those straight lines because this is this is metal. This is this is a material that's been bent, you know, heated up and bent. Now watch this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave a little white all the way around. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one. I'm going to go to one. So what that does is it makes it stick out. See, because there's white highlight here. But then it's dark here, so that actually makes it look like it's popping out at you. You guys see that? You better. <laughs> same thing, I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Yep. That's because I'm boring. Four years of art school, right guys? <laughs> same thing over here. And what the heck. Same thing over here. I'm feeling a little dangerous. You know what? I'm going to do the same exact thing here as well. And I'm just leaving some of those white spots. Again, you don't have to color it in perfect, you know, in the lines and everything. You know? Very, very that, very the, very the tone that you're working with. You know, this is a dark tone. This is, you know, like a lighter tone. So vary the tones.